Welcome, welcome, welcome students and teachers to the awesome Variety Village in Scarborough, Ontario. It's a sunny Scarborough today. I'm so glad you could join me, Coach Jill, for our very last, oh, sorry to say this, our very last Kid Fit Get Your Body Moving exercise adventure for this school year anyway. That must mean that we are almost the end of May, right? And you guys only have one month left of school. I can't believe how quickly the year has gone by. Oh my goodness. So once everything opens up again, I really hope you can come and visit us here at, Scar at Variety Village in Scarborough. Um, it's an amazing facility, as I've said all along, for people of all abilities and all ages to get fit and have fun. So I really hope I'll be able to see some of you in person here, joining in on some of our cool kid, ac kid um, activities and adventures and sports and uh, amazing games and activities we have here when we can open up for everybody, which hopefully will be soon. So today, as our very final class, I wanted to do an alphabet adventure with exercises. Now, you guys know the alphabet, all of you, even in kindergarten, I'm sure. So we're going to do an exercise for every letter of the alphabet, all the way from A, all the way to Z. And you know what? Some of them were kind of tricky. So I'm going to see if you can think about some other ones as I name ones that we're doing and see if you can guess some other ones and maybe you could throw those in the comments. Miss Kennedy's grade three class is here today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know you were busy last week, but uh, you're back with me again this, this week. Please let me know anybody else who's here. I know some people are coming in through YouTube and it'd be awesome to still hear from you and see who is here visiting us today on our very last day. So number one, if you are sitting in a wheelchair, if you're using a walker, I want you to make sure your brakes are on. And if you're gonna use a chair, make sure it's sturdy, not gonna slide away anywhere on you. If you are going to choose to do some of the exercises standing, if you're able to, make sure your floor is nice and safe, shoelaces are tied up, not going to trip or slip on anything. All right, so number one, sit toward, if you're sitting, sit towards the edge of the chair a little bit. And we're just going to start with a little warm up first. So think about your belly button squeezing into your spine, using all those posture muscles to sit up tall. You know, when, you know, a grown up tells you stop slouching, sit up straight, all those muscles you use to sit up straight. Excellent. So we're going to do a little march. We'll just do a little warm up first. Nice big breath. March, march, march. If you're choosing to do this standing, march, 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 just like this. Good. I'm going to stay down here. All right. Let's bring your legs a little bit wider. Swing those arms if you can. Now, if your legs are um, still and you're not able to use the legs, use the arms. If your arms aren't working so well, use your legs. If any part of the body is not working so well that I am showing, I try and show another part that you can use. The whole idea of this is that we are moving in any way that we can. Good, bring them back in. Excellent, now we're gonna do a little reach and a reach and a reach. Good, stretch one arm, then the other arm. Stretch and stretch, and now see if you can add in same side leg, tap and tap tap and tap. If you're standing, looks like this. Same side of the body. A unilateral movement. Yeah, that's a big word, eh? Tap and tap. Good stuff. All right, now we're going to go out to the side and in. Side, side and in. Side and in. Good. Big arms or big legs or both if you can. Good, big breaths. Good, let's do two more. And last one. Now we're gonna do a little reach over to the side and up. And a reach to the side and up. 
get that nice stretch through kind of the muscles along the side of your ribs, traveling down to the outside of your hips. Good, one more each side. And last time here, good. I want you to do a big breath up, big both arms up, super tall, clasp them together, push them up. And then I want you to lean all the way forward and hang down. Hold here for five seconds. Let your neck even relax. Four, three, two, one. Put your hands on your knees. Come on up into a cow position so your head is up. You have a nice curve in your back. Big inhale here. And then round your back up. Walk those hands up. Excellent. We're going to crisscross those arms. Hey, Oliver says hello. Hello to Oliver. How are you doing today, Oliver? I'm glad you could join us. I only know one Oliver, and there's an Oliver who works here at Variety Village. I don't know if it's that Oliver. Maybe it's a different Oliver. Tell us where you're from, Oliver. Open and close. Open and close. Good. One more of those. All right. Now, I want you to try to bring your hands in behind your back. See if you can clasp those fingers together and push them down. And then sit up super tall. Push your chest out. This is such a good stretch. I've told you before, this is Coach Jill's favorite stretch when I've been sitting, doing a lot of work on my laptop, doing some research, figuring out all my plans for the week, doing my nutrition coaching, all that kind of thing. It's so important to take a stretch break. And I hope when we are finished all of our classes, this is not going to be the only time that you're working out, right? Do some extra stretches every day if you can. All right, nice big arm circles. Irfan says hi. Hey, Irfan, how are you doing? I'm so glad you're here moving with me today. Big circles, big circles, big circles all the way around. You can add a little toe tap in too. Awesome. Good, and if you're standing, it's like this. Tap and roll. All right, two more backwards. And then we're gonna go forwards and forwards. Little toe tap. Good, and I'm gonna keep showing it sitting. This is our inclusive kid fit class, right? That means everybody should be able to do at least some of the movements that I'm doing, right? That's the whole idea. Mr. Ray's grade three virtual class from Scarborough. Welcome, welcome. So thank you for joining us today. One more of each, good. And now big shrug up with your shoulders, lift your toes, or lift your heels, sorry, and drop them down, up and down. Up and down. I'll show you from the side. Lift your heels and down. Shrug the shoulders and down. Good. We're trying to squeeze our calf muscles when we lift our legs. If you can do that. And if you can't, that's okay. Just work the shoulders. And if you want to do this standing like this, we're going to come right out of the camera. So I'll get it. Come back a bit. There we go. We're going to do five more. And four. And three. And two. And one. Good. Excellent. All right, now what we're going to do is sit tall. We're going to reach one side, turn our body, and reach to the other side. So it's a torso turn, kind of a twist, reach, reach. Going to stretch those muscles in between our shoulder blades. They get so tight when you're sitting and sitting and doing your work. You should be doing your work. That's all good, but we got to do some movement in between. Okay, just a couple more of these. And one more, fantastic, big breath up, reach them up, do a little tip to the side. Big breath here, and all the way up, and to the other side, and then all the way down. Good, just do a little stretch for our neck. I want you to tip over to one side, ear to the same size shoulder. You can push the opposite palm down, or even hold the side of your chair and get that stretch through. Wonderful, and release that hand. Come on up and tip to the other side. Necks get really tight too when you're sitting a lot doing your work. And shake out that hand, come on back to the middle. Let's put our chin down to our chest. Big breath here. And then all the way up to the middle and look back. See if you can keep your jaw closed. Feel that stretch at the front of your neck. And then bring it back to the center. And I want you to look over your shoulder at one wall as far over as you can. Feel that stretch in your neck. And then come back to the middle, look at me. And now look the other way. 
And back to the middle. All right, give a little shake. Whew. All right, are you ready for alphabet exercise? All right, what's our first letter? A, we all know A. So we're gonna start with arm circles. We're gonna bring our hands out to the side with our palms facing down. Do little circles forward. Right here, circle, circle, circle. And remember, we're not slouching. You're sitting up nice and tall. Use those posture muscles. If you wanna do this standing, you can. You can even add in a little toe tap to make it a little bit more active. So arm circles with a toe tap. Awesome. All right, now hold here and we're gonna go backwards. Backwards arm circles, work in those shoulders and our coordination if you're using feet too. Fantastic. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give those a little shake. Excellent. So we're done letter A. We've got B next. So we've got two we're going to do. We're going to start with a bow. So we're going to bow forward and then come back up. Take a little bow and come back up. Bow forward and come back up. And let's try and do it with a fairly flat back. Back also starts with B, so that works. Flat back. And you can do it with no arms, just bow here. Or add those arms in, kind of like a dive, but we're not doing D, we're doing B. Good. Two more bows. All right, one more, take that bow. Come back up, and now we're gonna do backstroke, backstroke. One arm, add the foot in if you can too, that little tap. And if you are able to do this in standing, right here, leg in the front. And if you wanna make it even harder, lift a leg, lift a leg, kind of like you're doing flutter kick. Oh, excellent. You can do that in your chair too. You gotta lean back a little bit. You're using stomach muscles. Oh, fantastic. Four, three, two, one, oh, excellent. A, B, done. Now we've got C. We're gonna do cat and cow stretch from yoga. You're gonna put your hands on your knees. You're gonna start in that cow position. Head is up, bum is kind of up in the air. Big breath. And then blow it all out and arch your back into an angry cat. Big stretch. And then drop down into cow. Big inhale. And then exhale into cat. This is a really nice stretch to do too while you're doing your work. Just take a little breather and do this kind of stretch. One more big inhale for cow. And blow it all out, go into cat. Tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, round your back. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Walk your hands up and sit back up tall. All right, A, B, C, done. We're on to D. So we've got two we could do. Dips, if you can do this, this is pretty hard. You're gonna put your hands on your chair, bring your feet out and do a little dip down and up. So it's like you're dipping your bum down into a little pond and going, whoops, too cold, come back up. Dip and up. If that is way too hard or just not possible, we're gonna do some dancing. So dance it out however you wanna dance, have some fun. I don't know if you guys can still hear music in the background. I can't really hear it on my end, but just, just do a little groovy dance. This is an awesome thing to do when you need a little movement break. Put on some favorite music, dance around. You, most of you guys are doing, everybody's doing online learning right now, so nobody's watching you. Take your little break. Dance, dance, dance. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and done. Those of you who did dips, how are those triceps feeling? Those are the muscles at the back of your arm. Awesome. All right, next one, E, elbow. We're gonna do elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Now, if you can't lift the knees up, just do a little turn, bring your elbow down to your knee like this, squeezing those stomach muscles here. Or if you can, lift that knee up with that little torso turn, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Feel like you're drawing your belly button into your backbone, your spine as you lift. <sighs> <sighs> Breathe out as you lift, or you're coming down here, right? Either way, you're still working those tummy muscles. Excellent, three more, two, one, and done. Awesome, all right, we're on to F for fly. So put your arms like a nice big eagle. We're gonna lean forward and fly. So you can either hold still, just bent over here like this, or add in that little up and down movement. 
Awesome. And if you want to do it standing, bent over here. So if we were to use dumbbells, this would be called a fly this way, holding your dumbbells, lifting out and in. You're squeezing the muscles in between your shoulder blades in the back. Big squeeze. And if you're not holding anything, you can still squeeze and make those muscles work. Or you could turn it into more into flies. I always like to think of a big eagle. You got it. Three, two, one, and done. All right, next one is G. Think of a gorilla. <laughs> now, this is something we would do in kickboxing called gorilla rows. So you're going to bend over, and you're going to come down and up, down and up. So it's a row, usually a bent over row. You're lifting like this. One at a time, we call it a gorilla row. So if you're standing, you're like this, imagining you're lifting up something heavy. If you're seated, you could bring your hands on either side of your knees here or separate them and come down through the middle. You can even think of it like a punch, one, two, ground and pound. We would do this in kickboxing sometimes too. Good. Still working the muscles in between the shoulder blades. Four, three, two, one, and done. Awesome. H is next. So we've got two. You could either do hands up to the sky. So we're going to do a little hands up, palms to the sky, back and forth, right? If you can, we're going to hop, hop those legs up and over. So you could choose if you're going to do a hop or a hands up, or if you can, stand and hop, hop, hop. Good. You can hop side to side. You can hop forward back. All good. H for hop, H for hands up. Whichever one works for you. You can even go quicker. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done. Awesome. All right, we've gone H. What is after H? I. All right. So I is a tricky one with some exercises. We're going to do an incline chest press. Yeah, right? Put your hands together squeeze them. So push, push, push. You're going to feel muscles working in your chest and then you're going to push them up on an incline and bring them back down to your chest. Push up and then back down. So it's going up towards kind of the, up towards the roof, but not above your head. Up on a diagonal. Yeah. So incline up, incline down. And the harder you push your hands together, the more you are making that chest work kind of like a chest press, right? This is incline chest press. Good, good, good. You feeling your chest working? Some of those upper abdominal muscles, your st stomach muscles. Okay, we're gonna do two more. And one more, and a break. All right, next one, we're gonna do some jacks. So seated jacks, you could do one leg out at a time like this. Here, you could do that in standing. Or you could do a full jumping jack, jump like this. You can also do that in stand or seated. Jumping jacks here. Good, 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Awesome, all right, we're on to what are we on to? K for kicks. I almost skipped K. We can't skip K. These are my favorites. We're going to kick our leg out, kick our leg out. And if you don't have ability to use those legs, do those punches with it. And if you can, do both a kick and a punch using the opposite side arm to leg. And if you want to do this standing, we're right here. Good. Throw some energy into it. Whoa. Kick and punch, kick and punch. One, two, one, two. Good, 10 more seconds. Good, let's see how fast you can go. Go, 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 go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Well, hopefully that got your heart rate up just a little bit. All right, moving along. We've got K done. We're on to L for lunges or lateral arm raises because lunges are pretty tough. Obviously, if you're not able to get out of your wheelchair or not able to do that using your walker, no worries. If you're going to do that, you can do a lateral arm raise. Lateral means to the side. So lift up to the side and down. And big squeeze. If you're able to get up, you're going to do a lunge. Step in tall. Step back. Down and up. Bring that foot in. Step the other one back. 
down and up. Just here. Step back. Don't bump into your chair though. Step back. Down and up. Right here. Trying to keep good balance. Keep that knee nice and straight. And your chest stays nice and tall. Good. So this is a step back or rear lunge. You can go all the way down to the floor and back up or just a little bit. And remember, if you're doing this seated, lateral raises. Good, keep going, whichever one you are doing for your letter L. Lunges or lateral raises. Squeeze your shoulders. Two more. And last one. Give a little roll. All right, on to marches. M for march. March, march, march. Lift up those knees. Got to boogie through these. My goodness, it's a long alphabet, isn't it? <laughs> lift, lift, lift. How many of you know how many letters are in an alphabet? 10, 15, 20, 30, somewhere in between? Who knows? Somebody want to tell us in the comments? Lift, lift, lift. We're more than halfway through. Actually, we're right exactly halfway through right now. All right, three more. And two. And one. Awesome. Now we're on to letter N. And this one's a tricky one for exercises. What I want you to do is think about nature. So it doesn't always have to be about a specific exercise. What do you do in nature? You like, I like to look. So let's look at all the things we can see. Put your hands up. Look around. And while we're looking, we're listening. I'm always looking for birds, listening to them singing. Let's do a little look and lean. Awesome. And I'm trying to, I often like to touch the grass and the bark of the trees. <gasps> Irfan gets 26 letters. Irfan, woo! High fives, you got it. Good job, thanks for responding. Good. The last time I was out for a walk the other day, I saw, I think, two garter snakes. I love garter snakes, but I never touch them, right? Always let them live where they should, they want to live. I saw a couple cardinals, beautiful red male um, birds. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. So next time you're out in nature, look, listen, feel. Don't, don't touch the snakes and the other animals, though. All right. We got our L's done. We got our M's done. We got our N done. Overhead reaches. So overhead for O. We're going to reach over and then reach over. Reach and reach. Reach and reach. Standing looks like this. Big reach. Big reach. Overhead for O. Oh. Got two more. And last one. And then we're on to P. So we're going to do some punches. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Little jab and cross. This kind of a punch. Forward. If you're doing it seated, right here. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. And done. And then we're on to Q. We're going to do quick, quick hook punches. Right here. Huck, 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 huck. Keep your elbow bent. So you're in kind of a hook position with your arm, right? That's why it's called a hook punch. Hook, hook, hook. And if you're standing, looks like this. Turn your whole hip. Hook, huck. Four, three, two, one. And done. Awesome. All right. We are on to the letter. Do you know? Q. R, yep, I think Irfan said it. All right, we're going to run here. If you're not able to do the run with the legs, you can just run with the arms. Or you can do rainbow, big rainbow arms, lean and lean. Or you can do rainbow and then run. Rainbow, rainbow, and run. So you get to choose which one is best for your body. That's what's pretty cool about this is that you can choose what is good for you. And then choose some of those movements every day while you're at school learning. Right, obviously listen to your teacher, but do your movement breaks when you're able to. One more rainbow, rainbow, and one more run. All right, next one. If you're able to, you're going to do a squat. So sit to stand squat. So you're sitting, put your weight in your heels and stand up and then come back down. Bring the arms all the way up. It's kind of called a prayer squat. Come down kind of prayer and then all the way up. If you're not able to do that, I want you to think about pushing weight in your heels and to squeeze your bum muscles. If you can do that, hopefully you can. If not, just do those arms. A little lean and arms, if you can, up and down. You're gonna do two more and one more. 
Good. We're trying to fly through the alphabet. It's pretty long, right? We've got a lot of, a lot of exercises to cover. Next one, tucks. We've got the letter T. So we're going to try and do knee tucks. You're going to try and lift your legs up and squeeze. Lift up and squeeze. If you can't lift, do a little tuck forward. Tuck forward. See how I am? Squeeze. Otherwise, lift those knees. Lift the knees. It's harder than it looks. I hope you're trying along with me. Stomach muscles are working. Good, the muscles at the front of your hips are working. Two more, and one more. Awesome, okay, S, T, U. All right, we're gonna do some uppercuts right here. Up, 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 excellent. We could do uppercuts this way, or if you're feeling more active, get down on the ground, get back up, get down on the ground, get back up, get down on the ground, get back up and jump up. So you choose which one you're gonna do. I'm going to stick with this one. Uppercuts. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Hopefully that got your heart rate up. All right, you is done. We are on to the letter V. We're going to try a V sit. So bring your hands up in a V, leaning back. And if you can, lift those knees up a little bit. And if that's still easy, bring them out. Oh my goodness, this is so hard. Try, try, try. If that's too hard, keep your knees bent or keep them down on the ground and just lean back. Good, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and down. Whoa, felt that, I hope. <laughs> All right, next one is W, we're almost through. We're gonna do windmills. So hands are up, you're gonna take one hand, reach down towards the opposite foot, come back up, and then windmill to the other side. One, and up, and the other, and up. You could do this standing, reach, and up, down, and up. Good, good. One more each side. Awesome, and up. Good, we need an hour to do all of these, eh? If we wanted to do them a little bit longer. You, hopefully, you can always put this on a replay, right? And do this again at home another time or ask your teacher if you could do this again another day. And you could extend them, make them a little bit longer. All right, we got W done. We are on to X. So we're gonna do X jumps if you can. Kind of like our star jumps. So your body's gonna make an X. See, I've got a crisscross jump and back down. Jump, make your body into an X. Kind of like a star. X and down. X and down. If you wanna do this standing, big jump and down. X jump and down. Big jump and down. Three more. And two. And one. And down. Awesome. Two letters left. We're gonna make the letter Y with our arms. So you see I've got this part up for my Y. The rest of my body is the stick part of the Y. We're gonna come all the way down and then come back up. And then we're gonna do a turn one way, back to the center, turn the other way, back to the center. Then we're gonna lean forward, keep those arms up, all the way tall, turn one way, come back to the center and turn the other way and come back to the center. One more time, all the way forward. Keep those arms up, all the way tall. Big turn, back to the center, and turn, back to the center, and now relax those arms. Probably felt it in those shoulders. One more letter, oh my goodness, we're almost done. Z, we're gonna do zigzag arm reaches. So bring your hands on one side, we're gonna zig to one side, zag down to the floor, zig to the other side, zag back up. Zig, zag, zig, zag. Just keep changing your diagonals. Kind of make a letter Z up in the air. Zig, zag, you can go forwards and backwards in your letter Z. Across and down and across and across and up and across. One more. And all the way up. Awesome, we made it through, fantastic. A, all the way to letter Z, and or, as their fan said, 26 letters. That means we did 26 different exercises. Holy smokes, high five. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit warm. We're gonna do a big breath up because you should always do a little stretch after you've done some work. Push your hands up nice and tall and then do a tip to the side. You can do this standing if you still wanna stay standing. Ah. And then all the way up tall, big breath, and tip to the other side. Oh, and all the way up tall, bring those hands down wide. Elbows back, squeeze between your shoulder blades. 
And then bring them in behind your back all the way. Squeeze them together. There you go. See if you can put the palms of the heels of your hands together. Oh, good, good, good. Open the chest. Remember, this is Coach Dell's favorite stretch for in the middle of the day and you need a little posture recheck. Open the chest. Sit up super tall. Three, two, one. Release those. Nice big roll. Fantastic. All right, let's bring one arm out and bring that all the way across. Give it a hug. You should feel a nice stretch on the, on the back of your shoulder. See if you can keep your palm up towards the ceiling. Awesome. And then bring that one up and back as far as you can and push your elbow straight back. Big breath. Three, two, one. Release that one down. Give it a little shake. Oh, that feels so good. All right, other arm out. Inhale here. Exhale as you hug it across. Remember, keep that palm looking up at the ceiling. Three, two, one. And bring that same one all the way back. Push your elbow straight back. Keep your head up tall, though. Good. And release down. All right. I want you to bring those hands all the way down. Lean forward and then just give me a nice hang down. Let your back relax. Let your neck relax. Three seconds here. Two, one. Bring your hands up onto your knees. Bring your head up in that cow position. Inhale. And then exhale into cat. Think angry cat, angry cat. And walk your hands up again. One more big breath up. And then bring those hands all the way down and around and give yourself a great big giant hug and a pat on the back. And then I'm gonna come forward and give you guys a big high five and the count of three. All right, get your hands up. One, two, three. I hope you all got in there. Awesome. All right, I am sorry that I have to say goodbye to you, but I really, really, really hope as soon as everything's opened up again and you can get, we can get our programs running here for everybody that I will get to see many of you come for a visit and come for some of our, our, some of our amazing programs here at Variety Village in Scarborough, Ontario. This is Coach Jill signing off for our last time here this school year. Take good care of yourselves, guys. Stay fit, stay healthy, and uh, look after yourselves. Mwah. Bye.